Hey, my name is Samuel Brown, and this is my typeface mini documentary. Uh, the typeface I will be covering is Gridnik, and here we go. All right, so the designer of Gridnik's uh, name is Wim Crowell. Uh, he was born November 21st, 1928, and he actually passed away September 19th, uh, 2019. Uh, he was born in the Netherlands. Uh, he is a Dutch graphic designer, type designer, and topographer. Uh, he's thought of as one of the greatest topographers worldwide. Um, he studied fine arts at the Academy uh, Minerva. Uh, and after his traditional art degree, he attended topography classes at Reitveld Academy. Let's see. Uh, in 1955, he worked alongside uh, Ko Liang, uh, a Dutch Indonesian born designer. Uh, they worked together on exhibitions, graphic, and product designs. Uh, Crowell's first clients, one of them, uh, was the uh, Van Abbey Museum in Eindhoven. Uh, he designed catalogs, invitations, and posters. Uh, the director of the museum, uh, his name is Eddie D. Wild. Uh, he became the director of the Stylegic Museum in Amsterdam, and he brought Crowell along with him. Uh, Crowell was the essentially the lead designer for Stylegic by forming its identity uh, through um, his designs of uh, posters and catalogs. Um, in 1963, Crowell uh, co-founded Total Design, a design studio based in the Netherlands. Um, Total Design had uh, lots of prestigious clients, such as the Dutch Post Office, um, D. Bijenkorf, a department store based in Amsterdam, Randstad, uh, a Dutch multinational HR firm uh, based in Diamond, Netherlands, and Schoelfel Airport, uh, the main international airport of the Netherlands. Uh, the other uh, designers that founded uh, Total Designs uh, names are Paul Schwartz, Dick Schwartz, uh, Rizo Kramer, Benno Weising, and yeah, um, Wim Crowell. So uh, Gridnik. Uh, in 1974, uh, Crowell was commissioned by Olivetti, a typewriter manufacturer, uh, to design a typeface for their new electric typewriters. What resulted was a geometrical sans serif typeface um, all, all the lines are of equal thickness and all the characters are based on a square grid with 45 degree corners. Um, however, due to uh, a lack of interest um, in electric typewriters, uh, which may be a consequence of personal computers, uh, Olivetti no longer needed the typeface and the copyrights of the design went back to Crowell. Uh, Gridnik was also digitized by the Type Foundry of London in 1997 and was then named uh, Foundry Gridnik. This allowed Gridnik to be distributed and featured in many later projects by uh, other designers. Okay. So one of uh, Gridnik's uses was uh, the Nederland stamps. Uh, so yes, the typeface was never used, but uh, Kroll designed this uh, for the Dutch Postal Service and the stamps were in circulation uh, from 1976 to 2002. Uh, this was not designed by Crowell. It was designed by Alexander Gelman in 1999, uh, but he uses the uh, digitized uh, version of um, Gridnik to make this design. 
So uh, a similar typeface to Gritnik is New Alphabet, which was also designed by uh, Wim Crowell in 1967. And it was seen as uh, experimental by his peers. The typeface was embraced by, uh, well, it embraced the limitations of uh, the display technology at the time by only using horizontal and vertical strokes. Uh, this type was used in 1988 by Joy Division for their album Substance. This type was also digitized a year prior to Gridnik in 1996 by the uh, Type Foundry in London. So a reason why I chose Gridnik was because I found it uh, aesthetically pleasing, uh, especially when used in actual designs. Uh, the design here on this page is in Gridnik, but um, he uses a uh, grid system to allow his designs to take shape. And I thought that was really interesting. Uh, and this is a perfect example of that. Uh, and uh, Crowell's designs are also heavily influenced by uh, Swiss style and modernism which I found to be uh, very, very beautiful. Okay, and these are my references. And that's it. Uh, thank you.